Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for the Silver Coin number 14. Uh, yeah, this is another series that I like reviewing random issues because it is an anthology, so I can just kind of hop in and out. Uh, so if you're not familiar, uh, let's talk about the creative team, then we'll talk more about the series in general. Uh, so the Silver Coin is created by Michael Walsh. Like uh, Michael Walsh is pretty much the the artist and creator behind this book with a rotating series of um, illustr of, uh, of writers. So in this case, this story is by Porn Sack PCA Show. Oh, apologies for butchering that name uh, with line work by Michael Walsh and uh, colors by Tony Marie Griffin and Michael Walsh. Uh, we also have part four of uh, Adam Gorham's Dark Passage in the back of this issue. Uh, this story is called The Bad Year. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the story, it all revolves around this silver coin that uh, pretty much almost kind of like grants a wish, but it always comes back to um, to really make things really bad for the for the you know wish grantor or whatever the case may be. So every story, uh, it's very different, but they all involve this silver coin. One of the cool things is that obviously the because Michael Walsh is drawing every every issue, um, the art remains very consistent, but it does adapt to the story that it is telling. Uh, also, because we have a different writer every time, uh, you know, if you don't enjoy one issue, you can jump to the next one uh, and just kind of like really try to enjoy that. Uh, so in this specific issue, uh, Lauren and Darren were working through their issues when the bad year hit. 2020 was when the world caught fire, when the relationship went to hell, and when a strange coin pushed things one step further. This is the latest chapter in the horror anthology, The Silver Coin. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is probably one of the first comics that I've read in recent memory that deals with COVID. Uh, and the fact that this silver coin is just taking things to an extreme really, really adds to the story. So it was definitely a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, but it was an enjoyable story overall. So let's check out some preview art uh, and be advised the art in this book is very graphic, specifically for this story. Uh, so here we are introducing here, and, and we're December 2020. We all know what was going on then. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Darren's putting on a mask, coming back, trying to figure out what's going on, trying to be careful. But then whatever this is was coming after him. Uh, but then we flash back to before everything happened and his relationship with Lauren. So all, we have a lot of flashbacks throughout the story and then we go forward to the events that are occurring in the presses. I think the pacing is very well done. It really gets you back and forth, uh, letting you know a little bit more about um, the characters and, and just informing you about their, their degrading relationship really. And so every time we flash back, we flash back even further uh, prior to 2020, uh, and and you can just kind of see the story deteriorate from there, uh, while the other story escalates in in, in the rhythm and the pace. Uh, so, and you know, this is a story about illness and, and sickness and a relationship that is uh, fractured. So definitely, a lot of themes that just they feel bad. <laughs> they feel bad. So if you're looking for a story that's going to be a pick me up, this is not it. Uh, if you're looking for a horror anthology that reflects uh, some of the themes and, and just, you know, what's been going on in the last few years, uh, I think this is a good story for that. Uh, but once again, if this story was not for you, just wait till the next issue. Go read the previous issue, whatever the case may be. Uh, that's the cool thing about an anthology uh, series that you can check out a story. And if it's not for you, if it doesn't hit, then you can move on. So, you know. Uh, so I'm really enjoying checking these out, everyone. I'm a big fan of like things like the Twilight Zone and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm glad that there's uh, a comic book kind of form to that. Uh, but this one has obviously a, a central theme to all that. So uh, as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell. So you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.